you you counted me in this time I and everything. I did. I remembered to count us in. I'm like on our three year anniversary program where I just kind of forgot. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. fine. Everything is fine. Everything's totally fine. Yes. Hello, Danny. Hi, DB. What is up? How is life? Life is uh, full of sleepiness. It's been a, mm. a long day today, and that's okay because some days are Mood. just like that. Yeah, I woke up at three eighteen this morning with a leg cramp, Oof. and not in like a place that leg cramps normally happen, but down like the in outside of my calf. Oh, fun! It was not a fun time. But anyway, we're not talking. We're not here to talk about my leg cramps. We're not. We're not. Mm-mm. We're here to talk about crafting stuff. It's true. What have you been working on? Uh, well, it is Socktober, so uh, socks. Baby. Fair enough. I have these ones. So the uh, the pattern I'm using is called Hermione's Everyday Sock. Oh. And uh, it's a really simple pattern. Um, and I'm just using the Fish Lips Kiss Heel because that's what I like. I'm doing them two at a time, toe up. And I am using some stitched together, yeah, stitched together, twisted yaw, twist, no. Nah. We're going to try this again. Stitch together twisted sock. And the color is Lys. L-Y-S. Love. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Name them on US ones. And they are traveling around in a project bag that I made with cute little foxes on it. Cute. And then keeping with the foxy theme, I am in Ooh, another project foxy. bag with foxes. And these ones have not had as much love yet, but these are uh, Star Wars socks for my husband. This is with um, mustache yarns, Star Wars. It's not Star Wars anymore. It's Galactic Battle. But I bought this when it first came out and she was still calling it her Star Wars yarns. Um, This is her perfect sock self-striping. And this is the... Jedi mind trick in the color Anakin and again it has a different name now because you know the mouse um fucking mouse but these ones are um going to be socks for my husband cute and then once I'm done with his there is enough left in the skein for me to do a pair of shorty socks for me yeah and I'm slowly knitting my way through all of my Star Wars sock yarn perfect and then I did bring down another cake this is leftovers Mm. from uh actually the hand warmers that i'm wearing and this is whimsy stitches his standard sock in the gray pride rainbow and so i'm going to be making just a plain vanilla pair of socks out of these um i don't mind how it looks with the ribbing but honestly i think it's going to look really good just in stockinette like here's a section of stockinette on the thumb and i really like how it looks so I think I'm going to make some just plain stockinette socks out of that because because I can and it is Socktober. So that is, means that I can cast on anything that I want with sock yarn and not feel guilty about it because it's Socktober, baby. Yeah, I'm not doing Socktober. No. Someday. Someday we will get you doing socks. No. Yeah. No, Danny, you got me into knitting, and yeah. that's that's it. Okay. I'll pretend that I'm good with that. You're not, and oh, I'm we're going to be, do- I'm sure when we meet later this month, it'll be like, ah, yes, Deebles, guess what it is? It's sock time. I'll be like, no! <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. But what have you been working on? You're knitting stuff too, right? Oh, you're making a face. It's the shawl, is the scarf, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be okay. It's really funny because I took this to Dragon Con and I was knitting it at Dragon Con. And some people were like, oh, what are you making? And I went, a mistake. <laughs> and they went, what? And I was like, okay, listen. So this is what we like to call the never-ending scarf. 
it's never ending because I got this yarn in an advent calendar and I thought you had to use the whole ball. You don't. Oops. You don't. I didn't know that. And I had already like I'm I'm committed at this point. There's I can't I can't not because yep. if I do it'll look weird. Yep. Uh oh. That was weird. What happened? My monitor just turned off briefly. Oh, my monitor does that often. I didn't like that. But I don't know, everything seems to be fine. Stream's still running. We're good. That's all that matters. Yay. I don't um, think I but even no. bumped anything. Hmm, whatever. So, yeah, I'm working on the never-ending scarf. We're on the red and yellow. Nice. I like it. Um, yeah. And uh, I got another advent calendar that showed up. Me too. Which I've one did we it. get? We got the Barbie slasher from Whimsy Stitch. Yeah, we did. It's the 12 mini skeins and a full skein. And uh, it's going to be so cool. Do you use the full skein when you do like... Oh, no. I, thing? I usually use okay. it for something else entirely. Okay, cool. Because I was going to do that too because I like the color. Yeah. Have you opened it? I opened the box. Yeah. I haven't like looked into it too deeply yet. Okay, then I won't spoil anything. Oh no, go for it. Because I saw that uh, there's like pinks and brilliants and there's they're not and... none of them are numbered. No. So there's that. So you can just be like, and I'll use this one today. Yep. Um, and actually, we're supposed to start them on. The 18th, I believe, is when it is. Yeah. Because it's 13 days before Halloween. What are we making out of it? Uh, what are you making? N not this. <laughs> not again. I was actually thinking about making another uh, Rush Bridger. I don't know what that is. That is the one that I made that's all rainbowy with the fringe. It's a Tiger Hilliard have... pattern. Okay. What? I need you to show it to me again. It's been a hot minute, Danny. Okay. Let's uh, see. You know what? I Oh, no. We don't I'm old. have a Discord for this show. We've got a Discord channel in uh, Majestic Goose. So I will go yeah, find Yeah, drop it there, please. And drop it there. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Like it's hot. Okay. Let's go to the shows. And that's pretty crafty. And uh, let's now go into my camera roll. That's where it gets fun. Except it is like super rainbowy and fairly recent. I finished yeah, I'm it. I'm so sorry, my brain doesn't work. I finished it just before she was our sponsor, or just as she was our sponsor. For um, crits and nits. There it is. There we go. I'm sending two photos. One of it all stretched out and one of it wrapped up. So, if anyone wants to go look. You oh, can look. that one. Okay. That one. Ooh. Because it uses 15 colors, but the last three are very small rows. Yeah. So I think I'm going to use that. And I used uh, Rick's I think I, I think yarn I might for that well. one, too. And I, I had enough whims whimsy stitches. I used I whimsy stitches yarn for that one and had more than enough yarn. Um, okay. So I think I'm going to do that one again because... Was this his Pride calendar one? Yeah, it was his Christmas one two years ago. Yes. Or was it just last year? I don't remember. I think it may have been last year. It might have been. Time is a weird soup. Yeah. Plus the way uh, knitting advent calendars work, you order them in like March. And so you pay for them way ahead of time. And then you forget. And then magically there's a box for you, which is just fantastic. I do like magic boxes. I do like magic boxes too. I might do that one as well. Um... Is there a way to knit it without the fringe? Because I'm not a fringe person. Or do you have um, to have the fringe? Not 
with this specific pattern. The, the fringe is knitted in as part of it. Okay. That's but fine. There are similar ones. We can find you something similar that doesn't have. That's fair. The fringe. That is fair. We can make it work. Three, have you been working on anything else? Uh, I've been writing. Um, mm. I'm about 70% through the manuscript that I've been working on. Nice. We like that. Three, four. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So that's coming along. Um, I'll be done with it probably by next week if I keep the pace that I have been doing. And then I'm going to print it, put it in a box and not think about it and start a different story. And then later I'll come back to edit. Okay. Because I don't want to like, I want to see it like fresh eyes to edit. Right. Um, yeah. Because just after you've written something is a bad time to go through it again. Yeah, definitely. I'm sorry. I You're shouldn't counting. need it while I'm on this show. <laughs> it's fine. It's it's fun. Um, I've had to go back several times already in the last couple of days. So, like, I have to pay attention or I'll fuck it up. It's okay. I am currently it... tying tiny little knots because I forgot to bring down stitch markers. And, uh... For the project today, I am knitting a uh, cardigan for an American Girl doll. Yeah, what are we doing today? What are we, we talking are about? Talking what is happening? <laughs> so this is a, a podcast that I've been listening to for a while. It is now called Dolls of Our Lives. It used to be called American Girl. Oh. Um, they changed their name. Just a whole rebranding thing. And, um, and they've got a book coming out and stuff too, so... I'm sure American Girl was like, mm. well, so the, uh, the the podcast is called Dolls of Our Lives, and it is about um, the American Girl dolls and their books and their accessories and some history because um, the two hosts are uh, both historians. And so they're coming at it not just as two women who grew up loving and playing with these dolls, but also historians who are like really curious about how historically accurate these things are because they were really portrayed as like a fun way to learn history. Yep. So that, you know, your parents felt okay about buying you a hundred dollar doll. Okay. Never had one. I did not either, but my sister and I got the magazines. Uh, I think I did too, but I think part of that was because I was also a Girl Scout, so they like mm -hmm. tried to push it towards the Girl Scouts too. Mm -hmm. That's probably why we got them. <laughs> and that's fine. I don't think I realized Girl Scouts was international. Oh, we lived in Oklahoma for a few oh, years. Oh, that's right. So. Yep. Well, we were in the U.S. That's when we got them. And actually, when we moved back to Canada, we didn't get the magazines anymore because they did not ship them to Canadians. Oh, Canada. You know, the, I mean, that makes sense. It's called the yeah. American Girl, so. Yeah. Even though Canada is technically America, too. North America. There's a big-ass difference. Big difference. Fair enough. So, what were you expecting when I told you we were listening to this? Not that. <laughs> Talking about fucking cholera the whole time. Jesus. Also, this particular episode came out in October of 2018. So, before. It came out in the before times. Oh. Is Which that is... why you picked it? No, well, why... I, I completely forgot about that. No, I picked it because yeah. um, Kirsten, the doll that they talk about in this particular episode, we listened to episode 18, um, She's on a Boat, Meet Kirsten. And it's the first 
book of the Kirsten series of books. Kirsten was one of the three original American Girls dolls. It was Kirsten, Samantha, and Molly. And yes. um, they came out in the mid-80s. And there have been lots of other dolls. And the series actually started doing the dolls in chronological order in terms of, like, the time periods of the dolls, not the... Oh. Um, not the release dates. So they're currently up to Julie, who is the 1960s doll. 1970s doll. I, uh, 74, I think, is Julie. Because they, they just finished Melody, who was the 60s. Do they ever release more books before they release new dolls? Or are they, like, collectively done and then... Um... The the books all get released with the doll. So, like, the new twins, they already have their books then, too? Yes, but they've started doing books differently than they used to. The original okay. dolls had a six-book series. Okay. So there was, um, there was Meet Kirsten, Kirsten Learns a Lesson, which right. was the one about school. Um, they, it was always Meet So-and-So. Uh, doll learns a lesson they they right. had very similar titles and it was to show you like the same things in her life for different girls in different time periods so there was like okay. day in the life stuff there was the the school book there was the birthday party book um there was always a she saves the day um okay so it was just it the the point of the six book arc was to show the same thing if type of events throughout history yeah okay which is a really uh, cool concept yes but you said they've changed it yes they're they're released more as a single book now i think um yeah it it was just a an editorial choice i guess um and the books have been written by different authors throughout the years but oh i knew that yeah um, valerie tripp wrote a lot of them and uh, the the two hosts, um, they often talk about Val Trip. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they are they they like them. They like her. Um, yes, a lot. They give her a hard time, but they like her. Um, so the the two hosts are Allison Horrocks and uh, Mimi Mahoney, mm -hmm. and or Mary Mahoney. Um, she's Mimi Mahoney on Instagram and Twitter and all of that. Uh, I, I, I've been listening to them. I've listened to every episode now. Um, I'm caught up and I really enjoy oh it. Um, they are both historians and yeah, I, I guess I don't think you realized how much of a historical bent they would have to these episodes. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, <laughs> as someone who a never even read the American Girl doll books, mm -hmm. never had one. Danny was like, "We're gonna do this thing," and I went, "You know what? We can't always pick things that DB is into." Sure. Let's talk about this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I was thinking either, but here we are. Um. <laughs> I do know that, like, right off the bat, they're like, this character's dead! And, I, and they're like, oh, spoilers! And I was like, yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> Wait, what? I don't... What? Yeah, uh, Kirsten's best, best friend Marta dies of cholera. Fair enough. As one does when you have <laughs> cholera back then. I mean... That is true. That is what happens. Unfortunately. Um, hey, guess what, guys? Spoilers for American Girl dolls that came out in the 80s. Yeah, the, the book is... Now, actually, probably DB's age, maybe older. I don't. It came out in the eighties. Uh, the The book is older than DB. Fuck. <laughs> Look, the the book is older than DB. Oh, so, uh, spoilers. It's Did just. Kirsten. American Girl doll come out. Danny. Yeah. Danny. Yeah. 
you you were like, oh, it's probably DB's age. No, it's older than DB, isn't it? 1986. Oh, shit. I forget you're a fetus. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not a fetus. Or a child. I am not. You're a youngin. No. <laughs> yes, you are. No, I'm old. Uh, desperately searching the chat for Greg for support here. Greg huh? is not here. It's just the two of us in chat. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. Just the two of us. Who is this? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Josefina. Josefina? One of the dolls? Josefina, yeah, I guess. Yeah. They're creepy looking. They can be, yes. No, they are. Yeah. We're um, really like, you know what? We're going to make these as creepy as possible. I've been... So, so yeah, this episode uh, covered a lot. They talked yes. about cholera, of course. They talked about the sanitation issues. They talked about uh, yeah. immigration. They talked about uh, elitism and classism um, and the way the masses treated those with cholera and the lower classes. Uh, they talked about steamboats and trains. They talked about, uh, was it John Hawthorne? Was that it? John Nathaniel Hawthorne? Nathaniel Hawthorne. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Look, there were a lot of names and there's a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, they're they're far more than just talking about some cute dolls. Uh, they really get into the meat of the stories and talk about like everything going on in the time period, which of course yes. makes sense because they're historians and they often go off on little tangents based on whatever their specialties are or what their current fixations are. Because, you know, we do that. American Girl Doll's eyes close? Yeah. Oh, this makes it worse. <laughs> oh, God. Do I need to go upstairs and get my ripoff doll? No. no. <laughs> DB's not a big fan. Got it. I'm a doll fan. So, other than being, like, super confused, what did you think? There's a there is only one thing about me. I am always super confused. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I am always super confused. Um, I mean, it was interesting. Like, I don't think it's something that I would listen to all the time. Right. And part of that is because, A, I'm not a big history buff. Right. And then, B... I don't give a fuck about the American Girl dolls. Yeah. But I can see how it is interesting for people who like them. Who have liked them uh, for a long time. Who grew up with them. Like, that's... It, it was yeah. very interesting. Like, I thought they were, you know, they're they're well-educated because they they have to be because they're historians. Yes. But it was, it was definitely one of those things that I was like, oh, yeah. Like, I could listen, I could see myself listening to that podcast to fall asleep. Like, it was very kind of soothing kind of situation. Um, okay, yeah. Definitely not something that I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I need to hear what happens next kind of situation. Gotcha. Um, but also, I listen to more, like, story-based podcasts or true crime. Right. I have, I have two modes. <laughs> story, crime. Gotcha. Story, crime. Be gay, do crime. Gotcha, gotcha. But no, it was it was interesting. I also, I won't lie to you. Because I had to keep pausing it throughout my day, I didn't really get to, like, digest it the way I would like to. Because right. I work a job where I have to talk to people. Yeah. <sighs> Thank God our show wasn't on a Wednesday because, like, I am all day meetings tomorrow. Oof. Yeah. Yay, me. Um, but no, I thought it... Like, I didn't I didn't not like the hosts. 
Yeah, no, they're they're good. Yeah, um, they did. There was one point that they said something, and my brain went, "That sounds a little condescending," but I don't remember what they even said. So it's like, <laughs> okay, so clearly yeah, nothing I mean, that hit that hard. No, no, not at all. And I think it's just the way like tone can mm-hmm. be portrayed. It, it was. But like yeah, like I said, it's it was it was interesting. I just remember them talking a lot about cholera and there was Kirsten's lot. friend dying. Yes. I'm like, great. Well And that happens in book one of six. Yes. And I'm like And then they talked about reviews of how like people are like Yes. They they tend to do should... that is read the reviews. You shouldn't let your kid read this book because the friend dies, okay? Pe- people die every day. Yeah. Also, in the year of our Lord, 2023, maybe we should talk about a deadly pandemic. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and they, they just killed me because they were talking about how, like, with outbreaks and stuff, how hard it is to get the appropriate messaging out in a timely fashion and i'm like oh gosh you guys you're like three months just five months early just yeah no you're right you're right it's really hard to get good information out but you said it was 2018 that 2019 came out. oh you said 2018 earlier oh sorry it's october of 2019 so literally like five months before Fuck. the pandemic came out yeah but well before the america oh. took it fucking seriously yeah that was, yeah, that was just, I forget sometimes how things hit differently now, and it's weird. Yeah, there's a reason why I couldn't finish the Magnus Archives, their last season. Um, uh, Did you get to it? I don't yeah. know if you did or not. Yeah. Um, I love that podcast, but it was isolation- Mm-hmm. And it was it was right at the pandemic, and they were like, "We're sorry, we understand if you can't listen to the season because it is during the say it, like it's during a yeah. time that we're going through all this." But they're like, "We've recorded it, we've edited it. It's a lot of work to re- go back and redo everything." Yeah. And we're like, and everybody's like, "Yeah, sure," but at the time, I mentally couldn't Could handle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope that is that is a thing that is a thing yeah i mean we we went through a bunch of stuff yeah we did and it was insanity but yeah it's so weird listening to stuff from the before times and stuff from just before yeah yeah and just like oh (sighs) come on people i just just remember Right. And I, I, so I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. I did not take it seriously at first. Not, not until the shutdown started to happen. When mm-hmm. the shutdown started happening, I was like, oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. But like before that, because, because our own government was just like, eh, it's not, it's fine. Yeah. And then like, they're like, no, it's not. And they like, things started. I was like, oh, but like I, I'm a, of the mindset that I was like, I can't stress about that until it's something I need to stress about. Right. Because at that time, like my, like there was a lot of things that had happened, and I was busy at work, and I was like, you know what? If if it becomes a problem, I will do what I have to to make it not a problem for me and my family. Yeah. And that's that's how I went about it. And then I went on a trip and uh, convention closed down like the day I drove in. But couldn't get my money back from my hotel. So I was like, okay, I guess we'll stay in the city. And yeah. then when my friend and I were driving back, states were shutting down as we left those states. And we got to Columbus and we had to, we had to get a hotel and he's like, Hey, we're not going to have breakfast. We're like, that's fine. Yep. <laughs> like we just need to sleep for a few hours Yeah. and then we'll go. But yeah, it, the, the whole thing. And then like, then we were talking like this thing was like, Oh, cholera. And I'm like, ah, yes. So I'm like, now
Now, <laughs> is that your pupper? Who has much to say? He does. Um, but we... It's okay. You can just keep talking. We, uh... Yeah. And then, yeah. It is weird that that came out five months beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing. If if the Rona didn't happen, you know what else wouldn't have happened? This? Most of the projects that we started. Yeah. This. That, um... Roll for weird. Roll for... Yeah, roll for weird would not probably have happened. Um... And that happened because our friend was like, I'm stressed. Can somebody do something? And I was like, I can run a one shot. And there, she was like, yeah. Yeah, that's like, okay. Like and now here we are. Yep. Three years later. Crazy. Insanity. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But, yeah. I feel like we should have listened to more than one episode of this podcast so we had more to talk about. Um, because they're only like an hour long, and part of that is ads. Yes, that is true. Uh, to be fair, I have listened to like all 100 and however many episodes. How many you know, episodes? I just finished one of, today. Proud of you, Danny. So, like, I could talk about them, but a lot of it is very much the same sort of idea of um, 124 episodes. Fuck. Yeah. I have, I have not made that many episodes of anything. So they're currently on uh, Julie, and it is winter of 1975. And it's, it's interesting because now they're getting into, like, the slightly more modern dolls. Mm. And, um... What are they going to do when they run out of dolls? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Because after her is... Is there an 80s doll? Yes. Yes, because that one came out fairly recently. And made me feel old. And then Shit. your doll came out and made me feel even no, older. Shut up. Uh -huh. Shut up. We're, we ain't talking about my doll. Where we're where we'll get things like nine eleven coming through. Oh uh, yeah, I don't even want to think about her book. Like every yeah. time I see any footage that is of nine eleven, I'm like, I remember seeing that. Yep, live on TV. Yep, and I was young. Do you remember where you were? Like what your situation was at that time? Yep, mom and I went. We're going to a doctor. Um, cause I had a doctor's appointment. She picked me up from school. We had just found out that the first tower had been hit. It wasn't, I didn't really understand what was happening, but we went to the doctor's office, did that thing. I got back. Um, our teacher had everything on the TV in our school, which thinking back was in inappropriate for a fourth grader to be saying, mm -hmm. um, especially in school. Um, and yeah, uh, it was on the news like every night for what felt like Ever. a year. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was scary. And I also remember that like we went and saw, we went and saw The Sound of Music at a little theater in like Springfield, Missouri. I don't care if people know where my hometown is. <laughs> I don't live there anymore. <laughs> um, and there's a point where, you know, little sound of music is Nazi occupied right. Austria. And they had soldiers come into the audience and like my whole class just like tensed because we thought like something didn't know it was a part of the show. Right. And, like, my mom was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, right. We're traumatizing a whole generation. That's fine. Yeah. Um, and, like, I don't... It's it's interesting because, like, I'm not going to say, like, my generation has been traumatized more than anybody else's because that's not true. I just think we've been traumatized a lot younger, maybe, than most generations had been. 
um, when it comes to things like, well, because we also grew up with the internet. Right. So, like, there are a lot of things that you find out more on the internet than what past generations did. And, um, yeah, it... Yeah. Yeah. So, like, it's, it, it, it was it's a lot and i just think about like that kind of stuff all the time and i'm like no no wonder i'm ex- i'm an exhausted human being at 32 like yeah i'm just like look at the stuff yeah that'll do it i made our two other uh watchers leave <laughs> oh no You've terrorized them, traumatized yeah. them. It's fine. It's fine. It just... Are we frozen? I don't think so. We seem to be okay. Oh, it was just frozen on my screen. We're Gouda. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. But yeah, no, like, the American Girl dolls that are coming out for me, I'm sitting there going, I don't want to read... Like, I don't think I could read those. Yeah. Um... Just because, like, I fucking lived it. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not ready for that to be history yet. No. Um, and honestly, I know it is. Like, yeah. there are people now who are alive that don't at all. Don't remember it, wasn't alive for it. And, like, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of things that came after that that, like, people don't realize you know it was it was a lot yeah were you in the u.s yet at that time uh nope i was still in canada okay i thought you were i couldn't danny i can't remember it's old i have a bad memory it was the the first day of my last year of my science degree and I had set my alarm to go off with the radio to wake me up for class. And that was all over the radio. Shit, yeah. And I was getting ready and listening to the radio as the second tower was hit. And yeah, I just, I was also at the time, um, working as a bartender on the base oh fuck and so a lot of my friends were military and one of my first thoughts was oh shit the guys are all going over there because no one's going to react to this well the military's going and no yeah so that was that was a rough start to that year Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have talked about American Girl. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not the peppiest of topics. We're we're getting really depressing. Well, let's let me tell you about some of the other episodes because there's always there's always random stuff. Um I'm sure so Kirsten and her family are from Sweden and okay. they're immigrants. And so that's their whole process is coming over. Um, she goes to school and there's a lot of like crappy teachers in these books, like really terrible teachers. And the students are always having like getting in trouble for um, not knowing English. And it was, there was a lot, but my favorite of all the books and I, I use favorite uh, loosely not in that I liked them but in that they were highly entertaining was always mm. the the learns a lesson books ah because basically a girl does something stupid and uh, finds out <laughs> she fucked around and found out yeah she fucks around and finds out and I can't remember what Kirsten did in in her learns a lesson no, sorry. Read all of these, or I mean most of them. I've read the original three girls. 
okay. because they came out when I was the right age to be reading them. And so I think that's part of why I like them. Yeah. Um, is that I read the books when I was a kid and listening to yeah. them again, it's, it's way different. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here are the, the titles. There's Meet Doll. Doll Learns a Lesson. A Surprise for Doll. Happy Birthday Doll. Doll Saves the Day. Changes for Doll. Where Doll is whatever the doll's name is. Right, 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 right. right. Um, so the, the Learns a Lesson is always the school one. Um, so she's in a one-room schoolhouse because it's the 18 whatevers. When was she? I should have paid attention to that. 1854. Do they, do they tell you, like, where they actually, um, like, what year they were actually born in? Um, they don't tell you the year they were born, but they are all 10 years old in their stories. So she, her stories are in 1854, so she would have been born in 1844. Or okay. they, they turn 10 years old in their happy birthday book. Okay. Okay. Because, like... Fucking, um, Nikki and Isabella are 1999. Right, so they would have been born in 89. Okay, so, so they, that... they are, they're still older than me. Yeah. But, like, like, it matters. Like, they'll go through the same fucking trauma that I did. Mm -hmm. Um, God, I'm looking at their outfits that are from the... <laughs> from the earth, like two thousand the turn of the century the 2000s and i'm like pretty sure i wore that look all you have to do these days is go to walmart and it is very upsetting actually no walmart what do you mean? Is i went to walmart the other day and i looked around the clothes i'm like oh that's cute oh that's cute and i realized that i think they're cute because that's what i would have picked out to wear in high school fashion is coming around again and i don't like it I really hope the early 2000 fashion does not. It was it will ugly. It will. Well, I will be. Uh, listen, as long as the inflatable fucking chairs don't come back when they were <laughs> like, this, so is the, this is the this is the sure. It's not the future. A, it sits too far to the ground for my fat ass to get back up, <laughs> and B, you stick to it in the summertime, and mm -hmm. everything is awful. I'm looking at these girls. <laughs> I am upsetty spaghetti that they have done this to me. Yeah. Um, uh, they there are some uh, choices made about um, Native Americans in this particular set of books. I had kind of noticed. So some of that is because. America made some choices about the natives in history, but also this was set in the 80s where people were making some choices. choices. Isabella and Nikki's Super Duper Twin Adventures. Available on YouTube and YouTube Kids for the entire family. God damn. Oh my. Get twinspired. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. We know what day their uh, birthday is. It's May 22nd. All of the girls do have a specific birthday. And as you get into, um, as you're listening to Dolls of Our Lives, they talk about the girls' birthdays and, um, or the dolls' birthdays and their their star signs and what that mm -hmm. means. So there's a, a nice little sprinkling of astrology thrown in there. Do you know what Nikki's fear is? The Y2K bug. Because that was a thing. I remember the Y2K. Uh-huh. We had the, the weird people freaking out about Y2K. And then people f like freaking out about like a year later, basically. A year later, it was 9-11. Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen. Why did why did why did the nineteen nineties get twins? Twins, Basil. Twins. I don't know. 
Like, no other year has twins. Yeah. But they're like, you know what? We haven't put out, put out a doll. How about two now? Would you like two of them? No. My God. Yeah. But um, I I really have enjoyed this podcast. If you oh, I'm are, sure. If you are someone who grew up with the dolls or grew up with the books or you're a fan of American history, this is a really good podcast for you to listen to. Yeah. Just know that cholera is spoken about a lot but just in that one episode in that one episode um, well because it plays a big role i uh, no i understand it makes sense everything that they talk about makes sense but it was definitely one of those things that i was like oh okay yeah cool she dies oh spoilers that was the funniest thing hey i've got a question what's your question They okay. I will say what's really cute though is they do have like um, the New Year's white or two thousands gear for the dolls, which is very funny. Where it was like two thousand and it had the glasses, which I think is very very funny. (laughs) So does Nikki and Isabella get their own book, or do they get like separate books? like that they like share never... they're twins they have to share okay i i wasn't I think, sure like i don't know i actually haven't read any of their stuff because they came out rather recently yeah it was like in the last year was it the last year yeah i probably okay. stopped reading these around 89 or 90 so i didn't read much more than the original three mm, that's fair because by then, I was no longer the target demographic. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I mean, honestly, I think by the time I even learned about American Doll, it wasn't my thing. Yeah. Like, I was o- older, I guess. Mm-hmm. Not like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just wasn't, wasn't really my thing. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's just not. If you're not yeah. a book kid and you're not a doll kid, then... Or a history nerd. Then it's probably not your thing. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair. So, I'm about uh, yeah. probably about halfway done this doll sweater. Did really? I Let's see what it. I'm, I'm, I'm working yeah. on the doll sweater. Um... I, give me just a second to get to the end of the row. It doesn't look like oh, yeah. much yet because it's going to be small because it's for a doll. But I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. like two rows away from dividing for the sleeves. So it's just... It's just going to be a little like cropped oh, that's cardigan cute. thing. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Speaking of, while we're talking about knitting and American Girl and whatnot... Mm-hmm. I kind of need help with your pattern. What pattern? It's more about knitting than it is about American <laughs> Girl. Um, okay. The expositor shawl. Gotcha. The provisionary. Provisional cast on? Yeah. Yes. I don't know how to do that. I mean, you're probably going to have better luck looking up tutorials on YouTube and watching them. But the way I do it is I crochet Uh a chain that is Uh like five or six stitches longer than the number of stitches I need. And then, you know how when you look at the crochet chain, you've got like the pretty braided side and then the opposite side has little bumps. Yes. You pick up. If you do it correctly, yes. (laughs) Yes. You you pick up your stitches through the bumps. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to figure that out. Yeah, that's, that's a crochet provisional cast on okay i could i could probably do that it was just one of those things i was sitting there going you also don't have to provisionally cast it on you can just pick up the stitches afterwards but it's a little bit not as neat does it still look good it does and it's it's going to be this tiny little amount like three or four stitches or something like that it's oh that no one will notice but me right 
Mm. Do I want to start that tonight? Mm. You have a lot of turning in that pattern. Yes. Probably better if I do start it tonight in case I fuck up while you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find my needles, though, to do stuff like that, so. Yeah. 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 Mm. Thoughts and decisions to thoughts make. Thoughts and prayers? No, thoughts and decisions. <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking hard and making decisions. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go look. Did we my, to... Most of my stuff is in here, just to have to find it. Because it has to be, it's five. The U.S. five and I think a 32 cord. I mean. I'm, why am I asking? Like, fuck, I have the pattern around here somewhere. You do, and the pattern knows way better than I do, because that's been a little while. You wrote it! Years ago. You don't have all of your patterns memorized no. by heart? Wow, Dude. Danny. There's a reason I write them down in a book. Wow. Wow. God. Okay, let me look. da 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 Nothing but trouble, DB. Nothing but trouble. I, everybody knows this. I don't know why you're surprised. I'm not. Okay, let me look at this. Oh, God. Why are you... Oh, I did write down the colors that I bought because they're different than what you have in your pattern because you the... got yours from Ozark Yarn. No, Arkansas. Or... Arkansas. What did I say? Ozark. That's because that's where I'm from. <laughs> um, yeah. So I have, like, scratched out what they were for that and was like, ah, yes. This. Okay. Do I need to gauge? No. Not for a, a shawl. Perfect. Well, this is why DB will never really learn how to knit like a pro, because she never gauges anything. Stop it. I don't gauge swatch. You are a wizard, though. I am not. No, see, the thing is, when I'm knitting, like, a garment, I'll start with the sleeve. Because here's mm. the thing. A sleeve is kind of like knitting a sock, just a little bit bigger. And I am fine mm -hmm. with pulling out a sleeve. So I will knit sleeves and then use that to measure my gauge. Because every time I do a gauge swatch it turns out completely different than the the item that I'm knitting because I'm in a different mood or I'm sitting in a different chair or I'm just trying to hurry and get done the swatch because I want to get done so I can start the knitting and it just doesn't turn out the same. Fair, fair, honestly. But if I just jump into the sleeves, I'm knitting them with the intention of knitting a sweater and I'm knitting them the way I'm going to be knitting. Right. And so they're a much better demonstration of what my gauge is. Fair enough. That's yeah. true. But they're still small enough that, you know, I can rip out a sleeve if I need to and start again. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't make garments because I, they would either turn out to be really, really like small or they'd be really, really big. There would be no in between. Gotcha. That, but that's just me. All right, let me find some needles. Oh goodness, time to go searching for things. It's all right here, Danny. It's 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 a search. DB's searching. She's off screen. It's a big search. Probably swearing at me in the background. It's fine. Danny. <laughs> yep, swearing at me in the background. It's fine. I think my mom's not watching tonight. Well, she knows me. <laughs> Is 47 inches too long? Nope. Okay. The first one I found. Woohoo! What? 
doesn't look like 40 inches. That's because it's not. How long is it? That one was 16. That's probably a little short. I have a 32. Which I think is what it actually called for. Yes. So I found my 32. Why did it have me do that? All right. I got, a, I got some needles. Does this have the tightener in it? It does, thank God. I like having the fact that I have like cables, but also half the time I feel like I forget where my freaking tightener is. Yeah, that oh, part I... sucks. But it oh, is kind of nice to just have everything all in one. Yes. That doesn't feel long enough. This is 32, okay. I mean, it's going to be crunched up at the end because it's yeah. a lot of stitches. Yes. Yeah. Right. That's when it's a lot of stitches. Lay down and, hold the and also, uh, I apologize now. You're going to hate me when you're doing the edging because it takes forever. What does that mean, Danny? Just it takes like it forever. What kind of edging did you do? Did you not see the scallopy? fancy border I, oh yes the knots at the bottom yeah when i get to the gold yeah i did see that I mean, it's really pretty and i like the way it looks it, it, it just, looks great it's i-cord and it takes forever oh it's i-cord yes shit okay well I, I listen it'll be six years before i even get to that part of it so then it'll be fine it'll be another six years to finish that part <laughs> it was it just took a long time you know what good thing my friend uh danielle has patience with me because indeed uh, she uh yeah not you danielle a different one that's who i'm making this for <laughs> but all danielle's are very patient by nature she's fully yeah. we're, we're not patient beings it's fine i start with the gray right that was the charcoal color yes okay so shift it up. Using color A, cast on three stitches using a provisionary cast on. Knit six rows and garter. Turn turn ninety. Pick up and knit three stitches along the edge. Turn ninety, then pick up and knit three provisionary cast on stitches. So I cast on three. Mm -hmm. You know what we're going to do? Cry. We're, we're going to say goodbye to our friends and end the stream because we're not going to make this a knitting tutorial on how Aww. to do provisional stitches and garter tab cast ons. No. And also, uh, my game ran really long last night, and I don't know if you can hear that my voice You're, is yeah. very much shot. So You're going. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting a little croaky. So we're going to go ahead and say thank you for joining us, those of you who managed to. Wasn't a whole lot, but you know. A and hearing us choke up about 9-11. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you're a, a history person or a, 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 a doll, doll person. Girl, or both. Or Yeah. Or if you're just interested in American Girl dolls, go go check check them out. out. They are fun. Yeah. They're they're really entertaining and they're they're fun yeah. people. And uh, yeah, check them out. Just because it wasn't for Deebles doesn't mean it's not for everybody else. Like, exactly. And I'm not gonna. I'm not. It, it was very well put together. Yes. It was a really good podcast. And just not my subject. Yeah. But even though it was only episode 18. Like, mm -hmm. it was well done. It, it has been well produced the entire time. It wasn't like yeah. two dudes sitting on their cell phones talking about stuff. We've heard lots of those, so. All right, well, thank you all for joining us. And um, now that I have little sleeveys. Oh, it that looks was like quick. It's gonna be I, like, as soon as you split for the sleeves, it looks like a doll thing now. So Yeah. All right, we will see you all in uh, four weeks. Right? Four weeks? Yeah, because we're taking the next one off. 
Are we? Yes, we are. Our next one's going to be Halloween. Why are we taking the 17th off? Because I have better plans. <laughs> no, it's my birthday. I'm going out for dinner. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. That's what that was. But I was like, yeah. <laughs> damn. Danny took my heart, ripped it out, threw it on the floor. I did. Stomped on it. I'm good at that. Wow. Good night, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Oh, wait. Are we going to tell them what we're going to talk about? Do you remember? Are we talking about Deadly Manners? Deadly Manners, yeah. We Deadly Manners, that's our halloween thing. We're doing for that yet. Um, I have some Halloween kits that I just want to do. Because I can't think of anything related okay. to Deadly Manners. That's fair. Um, we'll figure something let, out, it's fine. Yes, let me know what those Deadly, or those deadly Manners... <laughs> let me know what those... We're going to dress up are. too, remember? Oh yes, we're going to be fancy. We're going to be fancy. We're going to be fancy. Maybe we'll find a different craft. We'll do something fancy. But we'll see you all in four weeks. Four weeks. Well, we'll see you in two in one week because we will have crits and knits on yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But anyway, we're Bye. going now. Bye. <laughs>